Hey everybody, it's Friday. Alan Weber from the mayor's office, still wearing my mask when I come to work in the morning, when I go home, when I go out with puppies, when I go shopping. Anytime you're outside, anytime you're doing something, be sure to carry and wear your face covering. Uh, yesterday, there were 343 new cases of COVID-19 in New Mexico, the highest daily number to date uh, statewide. Uh, statewide, our total cases are over 18,000, uh, and sadly, we've seen uh, deaths increase as well, up to 596 total. In Santa Fe County yesterday, good news, only six new cases, but the day before that, 19 new cases. The rolling average is about over 10 now, 10.7. So we are really uh, dealing with a crisis, uh, a public health emergency. The data uh, are in. Science is telling us that we can make a difference wearing a face covering of some kind, shield or mask, using hand sanitizer, washing our hands, keeping our hands away from our face, and remembering to practice social distancing. Now, the numbers nationally are really serious, tragic, disturbing. Uh, there is no coordinated national response still, so it's up to us locally and in New Mexico to break the back of COVID-19 and to bend the curve. Uh, we can do it, we did it before. As a community, we were the, the highest performing community across New Mexico when it came to safety, security, and stopping the spread of COVID-19. So please, let's do it again. Let's double down. Let's take the precautions we know work and every single day remind ourselves, our families, the ones we love, the ones we care about, all of us in the community, we can make a, di a big difference in whether or not COVID-19 spikes or begins to go back down. Um, that's the COVID-19 update. Other things to talk about, remember the Santa Fe promise. Remember that we have stores that have this sign in the window, shops, restaurants. We have pins that say, I will keep the Santa Fe promise. You can go to the city's website and take the Santa Fe promise, which says, I will act as though I have COVID-19. We now know that people who are asymptomatic are capable of spreading this disease. We know that there aren't enough test kits around for every asymptomatic person to get tested. So act as if you'd been tested and you haven't. If you think you might feel sick, stay home, take extra precautions, wear gloves. But in any case, when you're okay and you're out and about, wear a pin and shop at the local stores, restaurants, uh, all of our merchants who are abiding by the Santa Fe promise, who are keeping you healthy and their workers healthy. We've got to look after our local workforce. We want everybody in Santa Fe to get that paycheck. We also want them to stay safe and healthy. So shop at the stores that carry the Santa Fe promise. Wear a mask when you go in. Be polite, be courteous, be patient. Uh, this is going to be with us for a while. This is not going away tomorrow. We have the ability to make a difference. And we've seen around the world, there are countries, there are communities that have figured this out. It's not that hard. We just have to be disciplined. We have to be focused. We have to care. We have to demonstrate love and compassion for everybody in our community. We can do it. Please step up. Keep the Santa Fe promise. Here's some good news of things that are going around that don't have to do with COVID-19. It's not COVID-19 all the time. Uh, other things are happening that are worth mentioning and worth uh, bringing to the surface for you. First of all, this Sunday is the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act. Uh, this proclamation uh, has been signed by me and it says, uh, whereas the Americans with Disabilities Act was passed 30 years ago, 30 years ago on July 26, 1990, to ensure the civil rights of citizens with disabilities. Uh, that still is part of our commitment that everybody, everybody is treated with dignity and respect 
and they have uh, the, all the rights that everybody should enjoy when it comes to hope and freedom and opportunity and equality. So uh, 30 years ago, ADA was enacted. Uh, this proclamation is our commitment to continue to keep that promise. Uh, other things going on, some more good news. I uh, just got a word from our Poet Laureate of Santa Fe, Elizabeth Jacobson, that the Academy of American Poets has awarded YouthWorks uh, a $10,000 grant for their in-kind donation to a poetry and art project for teens. Uh, with uh, Elizabeth uh, leading the charge, she's partnering with YouthWorks to offer free poetry workshops culminating in a visual art project. It's organized by Axel Contemporary and using t-shirt design printing at the Santa Fe Community Screen Printing. The project will finish with an exhibition of poems, shirts, and photos at the Santa Fe Community Gallery. Uh, poetry, screen printing, t-shirts, portrait photography, anthology, art and poetry exhibition, poetry readings, great stuff. Congratulations. Santa Fe continues to be a community that loves poetry, writes poetry, reads poetry, celebrates poetry. Uh, it's great news and congratulations to our Poet Laureate and to YouthWorks for this project. It'll be working predominantly with teens from the Santa Fe Indian School, Mexico School for the Arts, youth work teens, and some individual groups. But uh, I think that's fun. I think it's exciting. And particularly as we look at uh, more things for our young people to do to feel good about, with so many other things shut down because of COVID-19, getting this project, getting this grant is great news for, for Santa Fe and for youth work. So, Congratulations to everybody who made that happen. Um, something I want to bring to everybody's attention is the so-called CRM dashboard, Public Work Order Dashboard, on the city's website. If you go to the Santa Fe City website and you look for the, uh, the little button that says Report and Request, that's a place where all of us can go to let the city know about a problem or an opportunity that you want called to the city's attention. Uh, in addition to a, play of a form you can fill out and submit, there's a dashboard that describes all the work that's being done on community-based concerns, complaints, uh, things that need to be worked on. This is what the dashboard looked, at, looked like this morning at about 9 o'clock. Uh, it says that the number one problem in our community that people are complaining about, trash and recycling. 27% of the complaints that we get and we're working on involve trash and recycling. Uh, weeds is 6%, graffiti is 8%, barking dogs, animal concerns, very high in Santa Fe where we care about puppies, pets, and, and uh, animals that we want to see treated well. 7%. Parks and Trails, 6%. There's a big group called Other that our uh, constituent services department is going to break down so we know exactly what Other is. Uh, there's a list of work order and the status of different work orders and where they are. Green means they've been resolved. Roughly 80% of the constituent concerns that have come in, 80% or so have been resolved by our team. You can track them by the work order number. There's a map with uh, dots to show where the problem or opportunity is located. It's a phenomenal resource for community engagement, for you to track a problem you reported to see whether or not it's getting resolved. Uh, you can go again to the city's website, click on report and request, and then in that uh, page there's a thing that says public dashboard. Click on that, it'll take you right to this page. You can check out the progress that's being made on the number and uh, particular constituent concerns, maybe one that you've uh, asked to be addressed. You can see where that stands on the city's website. Uh, other things that I want to just briefly touch on, uh, we opened up the GCCC this week and uh, we're having a swimming by appointment. Uh, we're seeing about 180 people per day 
take advantage of the uh, opportunity of GCCC opening up. There's also free Wi-Fi at the GCCC, so if you're looking for a way to get online without having to spend any money, uh, you can just go to the, the parking lot there and uh, use your laptop or your tablet. If you're a young person and the house is not wired up uh, for you to be able to get online, this is the city's effort to make it easier and free for you to connect with the internet. Uh, for those of you who are looking for more opportunities to get out and use city facilities, in particular the bicentennial pool, uh, our plan has been to open up uh, the GCCC first, make sure that all of the kinks are out of the system, that we know how to schedule people appropriately, not disappoint folks, make sure it's safe. Our number one priority continues to be public health and public safety. Uh, we're on track now with the uh, Bicentennial Pool. It looks like we'll be opening uh, two weeks after we opened up the GCCC pool, so stay tuned. That announcement should be forthcoming. Um, another piece of good news, uh, you may have seen it in the uh, Albuquerque Journal North. Uh, last year, our city council passed a, uh, an amendment to our inclusionary zoning program that allows developers to pay what's called a fee in lieu of. That means rather than building affordable housing, they give the city money for us to support people in our community who need all kinds of help with affordable housing. Uh, in the first six months of that new ordinance being in effect, we have gotten more than $800,000 to help local people with their affordable housing needs. It's a, a plan that is working the way it was designed. Alexandra Ladd, our affordable housing director, uh, wrote the plan for this and it said, let's Let's put a premium on getting people through the process using our e-permitting system to get their affordable housing fee paid up. More than $800,000 has come into the city's coffers since we passed that ordinance, helping people, particularly in this time of great concern over the economy because of COVID-19. All of a sudden, we have eight, more than $800,000 thousand dollars we did not necessarily expect to get that much it's a pretty good number for this period of time in just a six month period of time so big congratulations to uh, Alexandra Ladd for making that happen and to our land use team for moving the permits along so that we're both building the housing on the one hand and addressing our supply problem because we still have too few houses too few units across the spectrum in the city and now thanks to this ordinance being adopted we have uh, over eight hundred thousand dollars that we didn't have before to help individuals with their affordable housing needs um, another big piece of news is the growth of outdoor patio dining in santa fe and uh, my good friend joseph abeta has put together a little sizzle reel to highlight uh, the fact that all over town uh, in, a, in an attempt to help our restaurants and the people who work at those restaurants get the business they need we have put together a permitting process where now restaurants can either use sidewalk space or parklet space in front of the restaurant where a couple of parking spaces have been dedicated to outdoor dining opportunities uh, the number of restaurants taking advantage of this across the city is booming. Uh, it's a list that continues to grow. Please patronize those restaurants. Recognize it's safer to sit outdoors than indoors and the governor has said sorry no indoor dining for the moment. So we want to help those restaurants and we want our workers to still get their paychecks. It's a, it, it's a time to wear your face mask and take advantage of outdoor dining. Uh, some of these spots have always had patios and they're expanding them. Some of them are improvising and setting up patio uh, restaurant space in what used to be a mall parking lot. So it's creative, it's fun. I think uh, after COVID-19 goes away, uh, we'll still see these solutions because they are fun, they're colorful, 
They expand the opportunity for restaurants to serve people in our beautiful outdoor settings. Uh, check it out. They're all over town. It's not just downtown. They're in uh, shopping malls, parking lots, uh, south side restaurants. Check it out. Make your own list. Uh, Joe has a list. He'll be uh, updating that sizzle reel. Our city clerk has done an outstanding job of processing these requests to get them through our system and out the door and let restaurants set up some outdoor dining opportunities. Please patronize those restaurants. Keep them going. Keep them in business. They're our favorites. They're our locals. They're the people we care about. We want to support them. So please uh, take the opportunity this weekend to go out and have a bite to eat at an outdoor patio restaurant, someplace that you love. It's your favorite spot. You can't sit indoors. They're opening up outdoor seating. So give them a tip of the hat. Give them a little money. Give them some patronage. Spread the word that outdoor dining is the way to go in Santa Fe. Uh, finally, uh, we're wrapping up a week of budget hearings. Uh, they are available. You can watch our finance committee do its work uh, every day at 1 o'clock. Today, uh, there is another session that is uh, going to be going over a number of city departments. Please tune in. Uh, these are your chance your opportunity to check how your tax dollars are being allocated. Uh, a lot of work is being done to keep the budget balanced. Uh, no layoffs, no furloughs, no pay cuts for our men and women who provide the services to you that you really need and depend on, the essential services, many of which are tracked on our customer relationship management system. Uh, you can keep track of things like weeds, barking dogs, graffiti. That's what the budget addresses. At the same time, in this era of COVID-19, we're trying some new things. We're reimagining city government. We're creating a different version of the city clerk's office. Now that um, most of the election responsibilities have been taken over by the uh, county clerk, the city clerk will become the front door to city government working with our constituent services team to deliver information and data to you so you know how well your concerns are being met. We're creating a department of uh, community development to bring together what used to be siloed departments, bring them together to deliver neighborhood livability, more housing, uh, better service to you in the neighborhoods, and finally addressing the national conversation that's going on all over America about the combination of public health and public safety. How do we combine community services where we look after young people, families, seniors, people in need of services? How do we bring that to bear with our public safety departments like fire and police where they're out answering your calls for service every single day? But perhaps what we really need rather than a firefighter or a police officer is a social worker or a psychologist, somebody to talk to our folks who are looking for help, advice, referrals, support in a time of emotional need. That's what the budget's all about. Uh, we obviously are deeply constrained for resources. Uh, we estimate about a $70 million shortfall in revenue uh, as we've seen our gross receipts tax go down. Uh, at the same time, we think we can make the budget work for you by getting more done by combining services even though we have fewer dollars. No layoffs, no furloughs, no cuts to people's paychecks. We're going to keep city government innovating and delivering uh, as we do our best under these very tight and tough budget conditions. Still waiting for some help from the federal government. Uh, there is a bill that the Senate uh, is working on. It contains no money for cities or local government. They refuse to consider help for city government in the U.S. Senate. On the other hand, uh, our governor and the state legislature did an incredibly good job in the special session uh, looking for ways to help offset the hit that local government, including Santa Fe, took because of COVID-19. They've come to our assistance. They have been very, very thoughtful, creative, 
and productive and we give them a great deal of uh, thank you uh, for all that hard work. It is uh, a lot of work in city government and state government right now uh, to adapt and change as we see the environment of government change around us. Uh, all over America, cities are laying people off, cities are cutting services, cities are uh, raising taxes. Uh, we're doing uh, no tax increases because of COVID-19. We're not laying people off and we're doing our dead level best to continue to deliver the essential services that make life in Santa Fe so rewarding, so rich, so blessed. Today at one o'clock, more budget hearings, starting again next week, another round. So if you're interested, please tune in. That's today in Santa Fe. I want to go back to where I started yesterday. We had 343 new cases of COVID-19 in New Mexico, the highest daily number to date. So please, please be part of the solution. Wear a face covering when you go out. Uh, smile with your eyes when you see other people wearing a face cover. Give them a thumbs up. If you have or want a pin that says you took the Santa Fe promise, send an email to the mayor's office. We'll put one in the mail to you. Wear it proudly saying we are part of the solution. We're keeping the Santa Fe promise and we'll bring COVID-19 back down. We'll, we'll flatten the curve. We'll break the back of COVID-19. We'll make it possible for people to get out, to go to these restaurants that are setting up shop outdoors, having more patio dining. We'll keep people employed. We'll begin to see the economy pick up. Uh, keep one other thing to keep track of, as you know, uh, this year, Indian market, Spanish market, folk art market are gonna be virtual. Look for the announcements about how to support them. Uh, our friends who are doing Zazobra this year are doing a virtual Zazobra, and as usual, it will be creative, it will be fun. Uh, you can uh, buy a chance to take your care and woe and your grief and your sadness, and for a little bit of money, stuff it inside Zoe and get it burned up. Uh, great creativity coming out of our friends uh, with Zazobra. It is possible to take hard times and make them fun and find the joy in community as we address COVID-19. So look for ways to help, look for opportunities to help somebody else. Uh, be patient, be compassionate, be loving, be the best that Santa Fe has to offer. Thanks for watching on this Friday. Have a safe weekend. Uh, be careful. Take care of your family. Take care of yourself. Take care of our community. I will see you next week.